Baby ID and your concealed permit? Uh, yes. What is on? What is the problem? Apparently, they saw your gun and they thought you it's were threatening in the, them. It's in the car. I have okay. it in my car. That's where I have it. Okay, I'm just telling you. It's no I'm, big deal. She got mad right because she she got mad because I asked for my order. That was the problem. Okay. I didn't do nothing. All I said was, I'm still waiting on my number one order because I asked for it. Now I'm trying to go home. She got mad. It was awesome, crazy. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm still here waiting. Okay. I got a gun from her. I'm still waiting. We don't know all that. I don't care. That's the crazy part. Oh. She can she can say what she want to say. That's weird. I'm still here waiting on my damn order. As you just heard, an argument between this customer and a McDonald's worker in Florida escalated to the point where a firearm was allegedly pointed at the worker, prompting local police to get involved. What is on being stopped for? What is the problem? I just told you. No, you did not, sir. No, you didn't. She saw your gun. Okay. You were threatening her. I did not threaten her with nothing, sir. Well, at all. I did not threaten her with nothing. That's what we're here to No. I've been sitting in the car. Why, why would I threaten someone I'm still sitting in my car waiting on my damn order? That doesn't make any sense. I, Are she serious? I did not do anything to her. I just, I've been waiting on my order. We're going to watch the video. Okay, well, please okay. watch the video, please. Because that doesn't make no sense, sir. We're going to watch the video. That's weird. Sure. You take, I didn't do anything at all. I'm just waiting on my order. Just waiting, bro. She's a liar. You're mad at us when we're just responding to a call. Yes, have, but I didn't do anything. That's why I'm still we waiting have to here. That out. And if you're acting out, then it makes it look like you're the bad guy. No, I'm not doing anything at like a bad guy. I just don't like that she just sat here and lied. At this point, regardless of if this woman is telling the truth or not, the officer's logic of you're acting a certain way, so you appear to be guilty of what you're being accused of, is a dangerous line of thinking that can and has led to much worse outcomes for suspects, especially since multiple officers have already confirmed they will be reviewing security cam video of the alleged altercation. Thank you. It. Okay. She's accusing you of it. Uh, yes. We're going to watch crazy. a video to see if you did do it. I'm not saying you did it. I'm saying you're being accused of it. Tell her to call my phone because I'm having a problem at McDonald's that could call possibly send me to jail. Yeah. Do you want to wait to see if you get released first? Because we watch the video. I'm not going. I'm not going to jail because I didn't do anything. Yeah, watch the video. Then. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Okay. I didn't do nothing okay. at all. Listen, if you watch the video Go ahead. and the, and the yes, allegations are false, do nothing. Are you not listening to me? Listen to me, please. If we watch the video, it didn't That's happen. Here. Those handcuffs come off. You go home. Do you understand? Stand over here, please. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you're gonna be released, if you're gonna be released, do you still want to call your mom? Yes, I okay. got to call her. I need to call her. It's also worth mentioning at this point that this woman should have expressed her Fifth Amendment right to remain silent, to not risk incriminating herself while protecting her own legal rights as much as possible. By locking herself into the position that she unequivocally did not threaten the worker with her firearm while accusing the worker of lying, and given how we already heard at least one officer say he was suspicious of the woman, continuing to talk to the police is only making things worse. People do it, of course. People you get can't falsely trust me. accused. Of course, all but I didn't do time. that. Nothing shows. Like, People what? get what falsely heck? accused. That's all weird. The, you're not listening to me. I'm done. All right. I'm so tired of that. Right. She's a liar. Hmm? What did I do? Can you tell me why I'm lying? Assault? Assault of what? Can I get my phone so I can call yeah, my mom, please? Yeah. Assault for what? What the heck? I didn't do no assault. Uh, they're saying, I, I, you watch the video, so. The woman is then arrested on aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge after officers viewed the security footage, later writing in the report that a handgun with a drum magazine was sitting on the passenger seat when the officers approached her car, as we see one of them react to seeing it himself. How is that assault? I didn't... Oh. You, you telling somebody that you're gonna hurt them, you got a gun in the next to you. I didn't tell her I was gonna hurt her. Oh, that's what her affidavit's saying. Specifically, the workers' police statement claims that the woman said she would push her blank check while the woman was pointing her firearm at the worker. It's registered, it's licensed, I'm licensed for it. I don't do it. Well, the problem is that you have it open, openly displayed in your vehicle. Yeah, it has to but, be securely contained. Yeah, but I ain't, try, I ain't say that I was gonna shoot her or even Point it towards well, her. that in and of itself is a second degree misdemeanor to have it open in your vehicle. Yeah, but it was still concealed in my car. It's readily accessible. That's not concealed. 
how is that really accessible for me to? I will have to. Look, it don't, it, the gun was in my car. It doesn't have any bullets in it. It doesn't. No. Okay. Well, it's still a firearm, regardless of it. Whether it has <laughs> but it's still my firearm. I can carry my firearm wherever I want to. That's a free open, like, wherever I want to. Yeah, but it has nothing in it. It's, it's a firearm. That's the thing. It doesn't matter if it has bullets or not. Bullets aren't regulated that more. Not but much. It, it doesn't have nothing in it anyway. And this is the root of the real issue here. The total normalization of gun violence and fostering a culture of disregard for our fellow humans gives ground for incidents like this to occur. And while we're obviously not excusing or downplaying the threats the alleged worker experienced, we can't ignore how the material conditions so many Americans are facing can lead people to think like acting this way is permissible.